Hello and welcome to Docker.com. Docker.com allows LinkedIn and Viadio users to create a portfolio of their professional documents. This portfolio will enable you to raise your profile on professional social networks and to boost your CV to highlight your skill set before recruiters or business partners. We support all professional formats from the Microsoft Office Suite, OpenOffice, Microsoft Visio, as well as PDF documents. When you register on docker.com, we generate a dedicated portfolio page for you. This page is always accessible from the top right-hand menu. Your portfolio is automatically populated when you publish your professional documents. Therefore, to add a document to your portfolio, you simply need to publish one or more documents. We assign each portfolio with a public URL, which can then be added to a LinkedIn or Viadio page, a CV or a dedicated professional website. We also assign each published document with a public URL that can be used to share on social networks and increase the author's visibility. In your portfolio, you will also be able to keep a close eye on the number of downloads, comments and ratings that you received for your documents. Don't forget, you can use your portfolio public URL to boost your LinkedIn or Viadio profile. You can also add your portfolio reference in your CV so that recruiters can check your professional achievements. The docker.com main page gives you the opportunity to monitor your key performance indicators. With a single glance, you can check which of your LinkedIn and Viadio connections are registered on Docker. You can also check which documents your connections have published or downloaded. You will have access to your portfolio activity indicators and the top right menu gives access to your portfolio, your personal invite details and the number of download credits you have. You can also get to your settings page that will allow you to fine tune your preferences to make sure you get the best out of Docker. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any comments or questions. You can drop us an email at getintouch at docker.com or send us a message via Twitter. Hello, I'm Andrew Thompson, the editor of TechFaster, joined by our CEO to my left, Ryan Jones. Hello. And we're joined by Rob Street, our social media strategist. How's it going? And today we're sitting down with Fred Ducrow, the co-founder of uh, Docker, and he is in Bordeaux, France. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for having me at uh, TechFaster, and uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> no problem. Great. Thank you for joining us, Fred. We really appreciate it. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Docker and um, what the, the product is, is designed to do? Okay. Docker allows uh, LinkedIn and uh, Viadeo, so Viadeo being the number one LinkedIn uh, competitor in Europe, uh, to create portfolio of their professional documents. Um, the idea being that um, if you want to rise above the crowds um, of the social media and social professional social networks uh, specifically, uh, you can improve your visibility by providing um, documents that you've uh, come up um, into your, your work. So it can be deliverables, it can be a CV, it can be a project plan, it can be uh, a, a media uh, kit that you've developed for your, for your company. Uh, anything that really has been um, done um, in a professional environment. And the main difference with uh, the competitors is that we allow people to upload any kind of documents and in their native formats. So that can be Microsoft Word, Microsoft Visio, which is very useful for consultants, uh, open office documents, PDF, you name it, we, we accept uh, all of them. And, um, and our community can then share those documents, promote them on their LinkedIn or via their uh, news feed, or share them on Twitter, Facebook, etc. Okay. That's, that's really neat. So how did this idea evolve? Where did it come from? And um, yeah. Okay. Um, 
um, I've been a, a director of consulting uh, for many, many years. Um, I've been working uh, all over Europe. I worked in the US, in Asia, etc. And I've always been uh, completely amazed that my customers, my consultants, uh, the guys who were working with me, uh, were always uh, restarting documents from scratch every time they were working on a new project or, or, or doing a new initiative. And I was like, but why can't we share those documents online? W what's the problem? Why can't we publicize it? I mean, people working in marketing, people um, um, having worked in, in media, have been doing it for ages. You've got uh, books uh, on, on um, professional books on, on, on the web, like on uh, Behance.net, for example, which is a, a, great, a great social network. Um, developers are doing it. I mean, I'm, I'm specifically talking about GitHub here. On GitHub, um, uh, the tech community is sharing the knowledge and, and, and also um, uh, making their work very visible. So why people who are writing documents as part of their job can do the same thing. So this is where the idea of Docker is coming from. Cool, cool. Uh, this thing, this this tool seems very useful. I was wondering if uh, in the future you see this maybe becoming some kind of mass distribution platform for, say, authors or scholars. Uh, absolutely. We we are specifically targeting professionals, but the the platform is definitely open to scholars and and also to students. Um, I mean, students are writing some amazing deliverables. They're doing studies, they're doing essays, they're doing uh, their memoir of, um, of end of terms, etc. And it goes virtually to the bin or is completely unknown. So these people could actually share those documents, improve their visibility, get noticed by recruiters or, um, or clients just by the work they've been doing during their, their, their studies. So, so yes, um, we are advocating strongly for, for the, the young community to join Docker uh, so that they can uh, fast forward uh, their job search, for example. Okay, great. Um, I, I've noticed, Fred, I keep seeing um, Docker and GitHub are mentioned together sometimes. Can you talk about Docker in comparison to GitHub and the similarities or differences between the platforms? Um, in terms of, of, of platform, GitHub uh, tend to do collaborative work. So, so people collaborate on, on different projects. Um, we're not at this stage yet, although we are thinking about it. Uh, so, uh, uh, so far, it's more a, a tool. Docker is more a tool for self-promotion, really, and, and for sharing. Mm -hmm. So we are very into also uh, collaborative consumption. Um, we, we feel that it's important that if you give, you can take as well or you can receive. So uh, we are working on a uh, principle of uh, reciprocity on Docker, a bit like on GitHub. So if I publish a document, I earn a download credit to be able to download a document from someone else so that it can, me, it can uh, fast track uh, the writing of a document. So uh, one of our business case, for example, is for a junior project manager. You know, he's looking for some new tools that he can use at a client site. He would go on Docker and he would be able to download maybe a template from a senior project director and use it and so he gets started and, and, and use some great quality documents. Mm -hmm. Good, thanks. Right. So um, what is next for uh, Docker? Um, next, um, we've been asked by uh, uh, many companies uh, who've been telling us, hey guys, it's great what you've done for the candidates, but what about us? What about the recruiters? Um, you've got a very strong technology. You, you, we are able to visualize any kind of document directly in the browser, so why don't you give that to us as recruiters? So um, we're going to launch in the next uh, uh, couple of weeks a product that would be called Docker Recruit. And basically what we want to do is that we want to remove from the um, application process, meaning the candidate's application process, we want to remove Outlook, we want to remove um, the files that are being attached to an Outlook email um, in terms of recruitment. So our business case is to say, why do you keep on receiving 
um, applicants or applications through your email. You've got um, loads of issues in opening the, uh, the attached files. You know, the Microsoft Word version is always different. Um, you've got candidates who want to send a PowerPoint. They want to send a PDF. They want to send an RTF. So it's becoming really a nightmare. And because of also the economical crisis, the flow of emails you receive when you've posted a, a, an ad for, for a position can be absolutely humongous. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of emails for some job ads. So what we want to do is that we want to completely remove that and, and bring um, a 100% electronic process to um, to the, the the applicant management. So basically, what people will do is that they will do as they do on Docker. They will go create their portfolio, upload their CV, their resume, any kind of document that will be able to uh, um, 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 promote uh, or make them look better for their application, if you will. And on the other side, the recruiters will be able to access all the candidates' files directly linked to LinkedIn or via Deo. So it's a, it's a great feature as well to be able to, um, in one click, see the LinkedIn profile or the via Deo profile of the person. And from the browser, being able to read, print, download the, the documents. So no more, atta uh, no more file attachments, uh, no more Outlook, purely from a web, br web browser on your PC, on your tablet, on your smartphone, you'll be able to browse the candidate's application and you'll be able to make some better judgments and be more efficient. Great, that's really interesting. Great. Well, we'd like to thank the entire Docker team for joining us here on TechFaster. Be sure to vote for Docker on techfaster.com. Thanks again.